Hello everyone, welcome to Websense Pro. I'm your host Bilal Nasir again with a new Elementor tutorial website. And in this video, you will learn how to create vibrant gradient background for your Elementor website, which will look awesome. So if you want to learn how to create these attractive backgrounds, stick to the video. Don't forget to subscribe the channel, comment in the video below. Without further ado, let's get into the screen. Hey guys, welcome back to Websense Pro. I'm your co-host Nida Sheikh with another tutorial on Elementor. In this tutorial, I'll show you guys how to add multiple color gradient as a background. I'll be using Elementor Pro version and little bit of CSS code. So let's not waste time and learn how to add vibrant gradient background in a very simple way. First of all, what we'll do is we'll add a new post. Click add new post from the left hand side. I give it a title. Vibrant gradient background and now click edit with Elementor. I click edit new container here and click this direction column here like this. Now I'll change the min height to VH first and then I'll change it to 100. Okay, now what I'll do is I'll add a background here. So for this, click the container, go to style, change the background type to black looks good. Okay, so now I'll add a spacer here. So for this, click this icon from the left hand side drag down for the spacer and drag this spacer here now we need to change the spacer width so for this first of all i'll change it to vh and then i'll go for a hundred one so now i'll go to advanced setting here from the left side click advanced and i'll go to backgrounds and click gradient here and change the first color to blue yeah bluish looks good now the second color can be none now what we can do is we can change the location of the second color to 70 percent and change the type to radial this and what else we can do is we can also change the position any position can be chosen i'll go for center center only now what else this is the first gradient now what we'll do is we'll go to go back go to layouts scroll down and we'll change the position to absolute like this and now we can place the gradient anywhere we want on the screen what we'll do is we click this and duplicate it so that we can use another gradient as well like this spray like this so now i'll change the colors of this gradient go down go to advanced then scroll down again and choose background go to gradients change the first color and you can yeah this is good now you can change the location of the second color which is already 70 percent see if half of the work is done we just need to change the color and the type is radial this is our second gradient color if you want you can edit it now what we'll do is we'll duplicate this and place it up here now i'll again go to advanced scroll down and go to backgrounds change the first color to this for example and rest is good now this is the third gradient color 
you guys can see it looks so beautiful now we can duplicate this if you want another fourth color different so what we can do is go to advanced again scroll down go to backgrounds change the color to a bit yellowish yeah and rest is already done since we are duplicating it now this is we can hide this and this is our gradient you can adjust it anywhere you want now what we'll do is the next step is to add text on it to add text what we need to do is we need to add a chord so that we can get the text inside this gradient which we have already made so for this purpose we'll add a code which i'll mention in the description as well. before adding the code i'll open navigator from the left bottom column so that i can select things easily so i'll go click container go to advanced setting scroll down click custom css and type this code which i'll also mention in the description below this video type okay so now i can add things inside this container i'll drag heading here like this the heading is inserted now i'll choose heading and align it to the center here now go to style what we can do is we can go to advanced setting and change the position of this go to layouts and change the position of this heading to absolute so that i can place it anywhere i want on the screen like this for example if i want in the middle i can choose this now what i'll do is again choose heading and i'll change the color of the text so that i'll change it to whitish tone so that it's more clearly visible now i can also change the typography to family okay so you can choose any typography you want for example arial looks good to me you can change the size i'll then place it like this and again change the typography and change the size to 88 percent now what i'll do is i'll choose heading and then go to content and i'll type give it a nice heading and see how it looks now i'll close the navigator from here and sure is this so this is how it looks you can also adjust it any way you want and this is the four gradients spacer which i use to make a good gradient color i hope you like the tutorial if you want more such videos please don't forget to subscribe my channel hit the like button and comment below for more such videos